All right, all greetings. Welcome back to another one of these like little um, show you what's going up with these like you know heist maps and all that. We're gonna be doing another one of the Vlad missions, the fair one now, um, which is nightclub, and um, we'll go to overkill. And as you can see, yet again, I've done this quite a few times. I've only done this one on Death Wish because this one's kind of a nuisance to do on Death Wish. You kind of it's really hard to sort of do it like assault style loud. And doing it like, you know, sounds is also kind of a hassle, so I, do, I really don't do this one much. I do like to do it on Overkill, though, because it's a, it's a fun little mission to do. Alright, so for this mission, I'm actually going to go into a little bit of stealthy gear here. Um, essentially for this mission, uh, this is one that um, you can stealth it, but it's one of those ones that it's probably going to be, you're going to try and stealth as long as possible and you'll eventually go loud. There's lots and lots of assets to purchase from this one. And they all have different functions and all that. Um, bad music basically empties the dance floor so there's less sieves. Body bags can let you bag more bodies, so it's really kind of hard to use in this one. Loot dump truck, this is one you always want to buy a loot dump truck. It basically makes it easier to uh, get your loot out. And basically the other stuff are going to show uh, um, on in, in the club. Now, I probably should have brought C4 for this, but um, this is actually sometimes a long heist. So I just want to basically uh, try and do it stealthy as possible, so to speak. Package there, by the way. There's a bunch of these packages out here, so I'm going to try and find them all before uh, going inside. So you can basically note a few of their locations. Basically, there's one over there where I showed you between those dumpsters. Uh, sometimes there'll be, I think, one somewhere around in this area. Somewhere around in this area, I think there's usually one. Not here this time, I don't think. Over here near these dumpsters is usually one, like right there. So we got at least two of these packages out here in the, like the, the, you know, the street. We'll basically talk to this guy. He's got a concealment meter, but know that this guy, if uh, you last long enough, he'll basically um, not detect you. And let's let you come in. We're just gonna look around here a little bit. So I'll note that uh, you're basically here to rob this joint. Over there are the management offices, and that's where you'll generally find um, the safe and sometimes the manager. On the dance floor here, there'll sometimes be losses or losses, depending on if you buy the. Uh, um, the asset that lets you reduce or increase the amount of assets for er, uh, civilians on the dance floor, the bad music one. Um, I think in here you can sometimes find packages, I'm not sure. I know that there's a package up in this general dire direction. You can go up here, and there would be like one right there. Just to show you off those packages a little bit more. By the way, that's a guard. There's basically mobster guards in this one. They essentially are, you know, the guards of this instance. There's these gangsters. You basically want to avoid them if you're trying to stealth it. They're not too, they're not too much of, an, of a hassle, these guys. Let's actually go down here for now. Note back here, there's like coat racks and stuff. You can go here and get the cash from the cash registers. There's a couple of gas cans out there. I'll show you those when we actually get into the lab portion of the heist. Right now we're not in the lab portion of the heist. There's a door over here. Sometimes um, 
in this room there'll be like a safe. There's basically three locations for safes in this uh, in this instance. And um, you're basically looking through those safes to get mon money from them, and then that's like the objective, basically get the money and get out. There's also a little bit of uh, extra in here too. He's not moving, so we're not going to avoid him. Basically, sometimes I think there's sometimes a, um, there's basically sometimes packages up in that direction as well. There's a guard right there, and a guard right there. There's a DJ up here, and a guard right there. Camera up there. Sometimes there's cameras, that they spawn randomly. Um, I think you can have up to a maximum of four cameras in here. Could be more, could be less, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. I've got a little bit of an issue with um, all these cameras all over the place. This might not be an issue I can stealth, and this is one of uh, the one of, uh, things about problems about, about this map. Sometimes you get like a sort of situation where you can't stealth it successfully because it's just not set up to be stealthable. Almost like you, you, you see rush. So since we sort of are stuck waiting, so this guy's up here. Still, and he's just not moving. The thing is that once you walk by these guards in close proximity, they uh, will you know recognize you as a, as a bad boy and uh, try and shut you down. And these guys are all just not moving. So we can't do anything with them. So, Alright, so this DJ is a, bit of, is a bit of an issue. Basically, he'll be like, you know, um, he'll be able to see you doing stuff from like down over here. Whenever he turns his head. This would be a nice instance where he'd be dancing, I guess. Alright, I'm going to have to basically try and do this a very risky style. I've got to basically shoot this guy, shoot that cam, hopefully that the DJ doesn't see me, and um, get into like the rooms over there, all like in like a very quick instance. So... Here we go, I guess. Get lucky, and I think it's spotted during all that. So basically, um, there's cameras all over the place. They're like your um, if if they spawn, they're like they're sort of like a wild card type of thing, and um, they're really hard to really deal with. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this body bag out of here. So note that the setup in here is sometimes random. You can sometimes have like these boxes and stuff in here. Sometimes you won't. Sometimes there'll be cameras. Sometimes there won't. Okay, we're just going to go out here. I'm going to see, just going to drop this body out here. And there can also be packages out here as well. Um, right there's one. Since I've got you know, my mask on, I can start looting them. Sometimes there can be another one over here, I think, too. Not doing too well with the packages, but well, well. So we basically uh, have like two rooms down here. This room is like the like the main one that you want to be stealthing in. Um, the other ones in the kitchen is like one you want to go after if um, you get around to it. Now I want to note, um, basically I've got the silent drill, the first perk on this, so this is a little bit silent. I don't think I'm going to attract any guards with this drill, so um, if any guards come in this direction, it'll just be because they're, you know, um, just generally coming in this direction. More or less, I just want to drill through these uh, doors. Note that the drill here, you're just you know blocked by those boxes there from the DJ seeing you. So this one, you can place it here without the DJ seeing you. But anyone who walks into this door over here will be able to see the drill easily enough. So I'll note that for my gear right now, I'm using a sound deagle, sounds deagle right here. I've also got this uh, Plan B Car 4. This is a mission that um, I like to say is one you're probably going to go loud in, but you're going to try and stealth as long as possible. We're 
just going to open this uh, with the drill here. I'll note, by the way, that you, if you have it, C4 is a really good asset to bring in here. Um, if you're like a technician with C4, which I am, but I didn't for this one, you can use the C4 to blow through these doors or to blow through the safes. I'm not because um, I guess I, I prefer the ammo for, you know, um, problems are sort of occurring. Because this can sometimes turn into a very long heist. Long and annoying. And, uh, yeah. Drills suck. Someone's out there. So, this guy came in this direction. I guess he just walked in from the back alley. Interestingly enough. So he just wandered onto the map and I didn't get, you know, any notification that he's coming. That door's open, cool. Hopefully we don't have any more gangsters pop in. Once this drill's handled, I'll basically drop down. Yeah, they're basically wandering in from over there. All right, so down here, sometimes you can find a safe. A lot, a lot of cash registers are sometimes positioned like right here. You can loot these. Okay, there's no safe this time. So we got two, um, easily up to two safes that are going to spawn in this uh, um, heist. And one was going to spawn in management's office almost all the time, and the other will spawn in the other place over there. Which I'll get to, because we'll have to. So we got one safe up here. Right underneath that portrait right there where I'm pointing my gun. There's also probably a manager or other NPC in this area too. Or not. So we got lucky. There's no there's no NPCs up here. Now I'll note that at this point you could you could you know come in here and start drilling the safe. I don't recommend doing that because um, basically this window is a window. People can see through it. And you know, if you put the drill, anyone who's over there, sieves or guards, they're gonna be able to see it. And there's right now a sieve over there or guard or something. So we're just going to hold off on basically uh, drilling the safe. And I'm going to try and get to the other door first for now. So what we want to do is come into here very safely. Knock that out. And Bane's going to be annoying. There's the manager, by the way. The manager has a key card on him if he's down on like the, the floor here. And this is going to be difficult because there's guards basically all over the place in here. And there's possibly a camera as well somewhere. Guard there. Eventually I'll go loud on this mission, right? But I want to do it on my own terms, not when... Okay, this guy's easily detectable by that DJ over here if he turns his head, so we're getting to that point where I'm going to have to be a little bit more quick. Okay, we've been seen. So this guy, he usually has a card. The guy, the guy right here. Once you time or kill him, he'll basically drop it. So you can pick it up. And you can use these key cards to open up that up. Here's like the other safe where it can spawn, so this one spawns here. Wow. 
Now, I want to go at this point and get some gas. Ugh. Damn lag. The purpose for the gas in this is basically you can use it, you can use it to block off access to, uh, um, you know, the heist. Shoot, these guys are popping in. We basically want to pick this up. And we can basically take the, take this out over to uh, these spots over here. Use it to light up, you know, the, um, the back entrances basically so cops can't come through there. I'm not supposed to spawn already. It's already an assault, pretty much. But anyhow, you can use this fire basically to uh, ward off enemies from entering the uh, the area. Not sure if I'll kill the in there or not. I'm gonna put this here. So this is um, the second safe. One of these safes that I'm drilling will have money in it, and that's what you need to basically win this heist. You basically want to get money out and then you can win the heist. I will note by the way this is a stealth little heist, but it's just one that you probably um you won't have much luck stealthing yet unless like you got like a full team and you ECM rush and stuff. So you got guys up here now. One of these benches usually has a package sometimes. And I ran in here so that the cloaker would kill me in here. That's a bad place for him to sort of get... And he's been bugged apparently. Oh, that's the problem. I think it hit that guy right there. Yeah, you can't rely on your AI to be of any use in single player or multiplayer. Let's see if we can help this guy up, even though he's uh, obviously downed. Yeah, that guy's bugged out a little bit. He's down, but he's not out, so to speak. That might be an issue, I'm not sure. All right, we didn't have the package up here, but I know that there's one in this direction, so we'll go here. They're showing off my drills, but whatever. We'll, we're picking up a few patches before vacating. There's another package. Looks odd if I'm being yelled, doesn't it? Kind of convenient though. Maybe they should be able to, you know, be immune to be knocked down the uh, AI to cloakers and such. All right, so this one's going to be about 60 seconds. I'm going to basically um, maybe sit here for 60 seconds and wait for it to be done. Then we'll move over to the one over there. And note that, you know, the fire is still raging. So basically what this fire does is it forces the guys to have to come through, like, up up top through the stairs or the other places. Instead of having to go through the back.
They can still come up through it back there, but I mean, they have to go through the, the bar first, so to speak. I'll note, by the way, that lockpicking is actually a really great asset to have for this mission. So if you're a ghost with lock picking, the actual lock picking spill, this is a great one to bring here. Okay, this coke, we're going to use it to go this way. You want to bring your loot all the, over to here, because there's actually the loot truck over here, so... It's nice how my drill just keeps restarting over there. Note that the fire di died down over here. Oh, it's only a limited amount of time to block cops from over there, so. I now gotta worry about the cops coming. I'm basically just gonna have to carry all this stuff. If you had more players, this would be a great you know, place for them to be. Players, well, having a lot of players actually helps a lot for this map. Because they have a lot of loot to move around. Basically, slow, just throw us out there. Walk through the snipers over there. That's flashbang all right at this point I really need to worry about my health because I obviously have none and AIs are unreliable at getting you back up and I don't have pistol messiah so you have a couple aspects that sometimes you can get spying in here. They're like the medical one and the ammo. You want to be very careful going for the medical one because cloakers can sometimes get you over here. Basically, cloakers can exist in these bathrooms, so you want your a you know your teammates or someone to help you out just in case you get downed. Basically, they hide on this to toilet right over here. Luckily, they aren't right now, so I can heal myself up. Let's get out of here. Alright, when it says wash the back like that, it means that there's guys coming from the back. So, they're going to be coming from the back now. If they weren't, you know, before. Try and loot all my coke. Our sniper up there. Money can also go out here, so we're just gonna dish all it. I just have to wait for the van to get out of here now. Taser right over there. Gonna go in here temporarily because there's basically money here. Note by the way, if you if you have um, a money bag, and you drop it here, you can get achievement. Get this package. There's our sniper team over on the other side. Probably should have brought C4. I'm doing pretty well with the ammo I've got. There's that sniper. There's a shield over there.
There's a bulldozer over there too. And a bulldozer is going to be an issue if it gets over to me. We need to get some ammo for the bulldozer. Bulldozer somewhere, but I don't know where he is specifically right now. There he is right there. I want my guys to come this way. Okay, there's the bulldozer are coming now. We're just going to play uh, cat and mouse with this guy. Throw a grenade maybe to stun him. There's another one over here apparently, a black one. Second one down. I like having better weapons for bulldozers, but this one will work just fine eventually. Hopefully, yeah, uh, it won't be an issue with uh, Hawks in here being half dead. For me to exit and escape this mission. You can't exactly kick box um, bots, so you try to hit me for the window, that cloaker. They'll do that by the way. If you come over here, they can jump through the window and possibly hit you. Now, I want to be very careful out here if you're trying to escape because cloakers like to hide behind cars and stuff. Sometimes you can take a quick look to see if you see anyone. Sadly, I don't. I'm just going to pick up the one over here that I saw. There's a cloaker. Got most of the packages, I guess, so that's fairly successful. Long heist, definitely longer if you're doing a solo player like I did there. You actually get a fairly decent payout though for, I think, doing this heist, even though it's a fairly long one. More, more or less, I like this heist for the challenge, I guess. I 
it might not seem like a challenging heist, but the thing about nightclub is that it's such a claustrophobic environment that um, it gives the cops a good advantage if they manage to like get the drop on you. Like that bulldozer, if I didn't see him across the way there, he would have been more of a threat. It's just that uh, I was able to catch him across the entire way, so I knew he was in the, in the area, so he wasn't. Alright, this time around I'm going to make sure I have uh, some C4. I'll basically just demonstrate blowing up the safes to uh, get like, you know, in, or blowing up stuff basically get through. Maybe I'll also bring a saw. You know what, let's just do a straight up loud. We're not going to, you know, tiptoe or at all in this one. We're just going to go in and blast, uh, blast some cops at the smithereens. Uh, let's see here, I want to use... Cobus. Crime Net Offline. And Vlad's Nightclub on Normal. Note that Normal it gets a whole lot easier for you because there's no coke. You're just doing it for completion. Note how much uh, cheaper all this stuff is going to be too. I don't care about civilians in this one, so... And of course, you know, we gotta wait for the loading, because... That's what happens when you're running a slow computer like mine. Slow and old. It will be nice when I get myself a better computer, I think. Windows 9 should be coming around the corner very soon. In fact, I'm pretty sure you've got demo builds and stuff already. Let's do it! So... This time I'm doing it with heavy armor. I'll note that it is still possible to get into the uh, um, the the club without uh, you know triggering hostility from uh, the guard there. It's just very you know difficult to do. Because as you can see, he he sees you from just miles away. You basically have to hide around the corner. That's how, basically how you can get in here with really heavy armor if you want. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick look around to see where guys are. There's a door right there, so we got the thing up there. That, can, that one in the uh, basement one can sometimes not be there, by the way. You're not guaranteed to always have the same doors, for example. Sometimes why we can get through in here, too. There's different layouts for the map. Just gonna go down there. Guard there, apparently. Measure isn't there yet this time. Guy right there. That's convenient. Here's the manager this time. So we're gonna go, hey, what's up, man? Give me your key card. Is there any uh, packages out here, possibly to pilfer? I don't see any, so. No go. Alright, I don't have a stealth weapon this time, so. If I want to, like, you know, stealth these guys at all, it's gonna have to be through, like, melee actions.
like that. And as you can see, this guy drops key cards too, so that's a nice boon. We got two of these. I can use that to get into this one. And if I'm lucky, I can... Okay, he's uh, saw me there, so as you can see, no door here. But there's one here, so go in here. Here's our safe. I can use C4 to blow this one. I brought the saw along, by the way, because I used it to saw through those doors, but we got lucky and I managed to get key cards and those the guard there and the manager, so it made it a lot easier. I'm just basically trying to show you off the C4, not the saw. And of course, you know, a little bit of lag. Just a little bit of lag. Completely empty safe. Yes, that can happen. A normal that happens a lot. You'll find empty safes. If any safe. You may not find a second safe. So, we got unlucky. We're going to have to go through this to get our loot. That I'm gonna go get my uh, gas cans that basically block off the back. I realize I'm not going to get much money for all this, but I mean, it's still money. Oh, one of them got to drill. Hmm, I have yet to uh, upgrade this one with the uh, military right, um, dot site thing. By the way, there's the placement for this ammo bag. Sometimes it's random. It's not there all the time. Gonna light that up. Now, because it's normal, I don't have to worry about cloakers. I would never recommend running out here like this really nilly because cloakers would get you. I mean, there's one there at the start with last time, basically, so should be fully understandable. Go here. A package this time. I do have more safe charges, by the way, on this character, but I mean, you need four to blow these safes open, so. You only get to blow home, um, open one of these safes, basically, if you have it. Or you get to blow open two doors, because you do that too. Now, stuff I can do, by the way. The nice thing about this, um, this type of instance... The way it's set up, there's only one entrance for the cops to come in from the uh, the way over here. Or two, rather. But I mean, what I can do, I can just go in here, I can go... Set this up. I have, I have special minds that can turn to sensor modes. What this means is that those will let me um, alert me to guys coming instead of, you know, uh, blowing up when guys come to me. And we're going to do this too, I guess. Not well, you know, 
alert me to anyone coming through that door there or down here. And that's like the other way, sort of in. Don't usually use the sensor mode, but this is one of the ways, you know, it can be kind of useful. Okay, we got snipers. He's dealt with. And we, if you heard that little no, beep beep going in the background, that means one of the guys that hit my sensor, so... Maybe over here? Yep. Whenever I pass this beam, they're going to basically trigger the sensor, so I'll get a warning they're nearby. Same with that one over there. The only problem is that you can't really tell which one is going off, and... If someone sits in it, they'll keep triggering it over and over again. I've had, like, you know... Um, in some maps, I know where cloakers are going to spawn and sit. So I basically place the sensor modes on top of where they're going to sit. And then I get a, you know, a notice, notification where they're going to be. And then they'll keep going off the sensor mode. And of course, you know, because it keeps going off, it's going to keep going off. By the way, as you can see, the drop for this window. This is actually a really dangerous room to be in, but it's next to the actual safe that I need to open right now, so... Got to deal with it. And as you can see, I only got one bag of uh, money. Sometimes you get nothing from this heist in the normal. I mean, that's, this is nothing, pretty much. You only get one bag. Okay, we got guys downstairs. Note that the fire is still raging, so... The only way they can come is still through over here, or... The other way. Okay, don't need to worry about that anymore. We just have to wait for the van and we can get out. As you can see in normal, this is kind of barren for a heist. There's not a lot of cops flooding in and all about. You can run through this fire, by the way, if you want. I don't recommend doing it, but I mean... I sort of had to there. And I guess I can show you off the saw now. So, basically, you need to get through this door to get out. I hate doors, though, for sawing. Basically, these doors, they seem to be basically invulnerable when you use a saw on them. It takes like two full saw blades to go through them. Anyhow, that's uh, Nightclub again. And we actually get to show off the escape. Time for the escape. Alright, Cafe Escape is one of the hardest escapes to do. Um, but at least it's on normal, so it won't be too bad. The thing about uh, Cafe Escape is that it essentially has you in a place where there's really no cover. And that's what makes it hard. I'll take this. I will say, however, if you're, if you're a technician with a fully upgraded sentry gun, it can work really well in this one. By the way, gotta take your loot to the escape point in the escapes. Else you don't get it. Sometimes, by the way, you'll find some uh, packages in these escapes. Here's one. They usually spawn them around this general area over here, because this is where the player usually holds up. You'll maybe find one over in this direction over here. 
or even over here somewhere. I mean, the Neural Snake here is not the most accurate sniper rifle. Where are you running to? Oh, you reload. By the way, interesting feature about sniper rifles is that you can have like this sort of a sat that lets you. Uh, have this like sort of close range scope. So I can have like two scopes on these to use. Works well. But if I want to, I can basically switch this to the close range whenever you guys get close. Works quite well. Essentially, this is not a good weapon to use, you know, up close. Not the race, at least. Van's gonna be here soon. All right, let's get this out. Point of no return, so yeah, there's basically a limit on how much loot you can get out of here. But, no worries, only one bag, so nothing to worry about. So, that's Cafe Escape. Nice little bonus to show off. So that was basically a show off of what uh, nightclub's all about. Sometimes cameras, sometimes uh, mobster guards. Sometimes you can stealth it for a little bit before eventually this gets loud. I consider that to be my favorite Vlad heist, even though it's not maybe the best one for experience or um, cards or anything really, but it's a fun little one. Hope you enjoyed nonetheless, so take care for now. Hope you enjoyed.